Malachi from South London, I did not jeet you. You just nyam my batty and went home. Don't try to tell your guys I jeeted you, you know. Your own guys don't rate you, sis. You're work class. Go get a job. Go get a job, sis. Your own guys don't rate you. They're here telling me, oh, he's saying he jeeted you. Are you fucking mad? Are you fucking mad? I made you nyam my batty and go home. You didn't even get to nyam the cooch. I made you nyam my asshole. It don't even feel good. Shitty mouth. See Today we are joined by Tamelo, a young lady who went viral online for causing quite a stir. What do I call you? Miss Troublemaker? Thanos. Miss Thanos. Thanos of the UK. Thanos. Um. What do you do for a living? What do I do? <laughs> Do I even have, I, I don't know. You don't know. Are you working at the moment? Are you in um, college or uni or anything like that? Um, I don't know. You don't know? No. You don't know if what you do for a living? <laughs> I'm gonna give you a minute to think about it. What I do for a living, well. I, maybe we'll get into that. Maybe we'll yeah, get into that. Later. Okay, cool. I wouldn't say he was my boyfriend. Okay. That's a lie. Yeah. He's an arrangement. Elaborate. What does arrangement mean? A situationship. Um, so how did you and Malachi meet? We actually met on a street corner. Like we just bumped into each other. Okay. In Lewisham. In Lewisham. So do you come to the um down to London quite often? No. Like no. So how why were you in Lewisham? I was having an AP. What's an AP? An apartment. Oh, okay. Yeah. Why were you having an apartment? I just have them sometimes. Okay, so you were just, happened to be in, in, in Lewisham and yes. you happened to meet this guy called Malachi. Yes. And because you were in an AP. Yes. So, so we were what walking was the to the corner shop. Okay, and then what happened? So I was like, yo. Tell me a bit more, like go a bit more into the story. He was like, yo. Yeah. I was like, hi. And then. I was like, you're Leng, you know? Mm-hmm. I was like, what's your snap? Put it in his phone. One day we came on the phone mm -hmm. and he was like, like, I just have weird fetishes that I can't tell anyone about. Mm -hmm. And I was like, tell me. And he told me that as well as like belly button stuff. Belly like, button stuff? What do you mean? Like sometimes he likes licking belly buttons and stuff. Okay. Apart from that, he likes eating ass. We were in a hotel room mm -hmm. and then he was like, oh, can I try something on you? And I was like, what? He's told me. I was like, how much do you have? Sorry, pause. And then what happened next? He was like, oh, like right now I only got four bills. I was like, we can make that work mm -hmm. because you're not about to harass my asshole for free. Okay. You keep talking about business and no one's gonna eat your bum without paying. Like, girl, what is, what's your profession? Because to me, it's giving prostitution. Hmm. I don't think I do it on a wide scale. It's so selective. You do, so you do prostitution on a selective scale? Yes. Yes. <laughs> so just to clarify. Sorry, Dad. So just to clarify, you're a part-time prostitute. Yes. Okay. Why do you feel like you've gotten into this business of um, having transactions for sexual favours? How did this come about? Why has this come about? I just realised men are a bit weird mm -hmm. and some of them should be taken advantage of. Okay. So if they want to use me, mm -hmm. I'll use you first. You're very interested, young woman, that's for sure. So do you have a booking system for this? No, I was actually looking for a manager to help me manage my bookings at the moment. To manage your part-time prostitution? I might make it full-time. You might make it full-time. Is it lucrative? Is it paying well? <laughs> I think it's paying well. well. Okay, so what's your clientele? My clients... Aside from Malachi. Rappers. Rappers? Rappers. As in up and coming or established? Established. Are you at all concerned about how you're being portrayed online? No. No. Why are you not concerned? Because the internet is just a facade. Like, people come on the internet to escape the reality about themselves. Like, a lot of people who are behind the screens 
laughing. Oh, look at her, she's a prostitute. They're prostitutes themselves. They just don't accept the title, yeah. Do you not feel any shame when you're talking about these things online? Like, are Do you- Do you not feel any shame? What would I feel shame about? It's like everyone sins in the darkness. Mm -hmm. I sin in daylight. But my sin is in the darkness, so I wouldn't have the shame. But you know that with, within yourself, and God knows that. Basically, to answer this question, you have no shame. Why do you keep saying that? I'm asking you a question. It's like you're trying to get a rise out of me. What do you mean? It's like you're trying to provoke me. I'm not trying to provoke you. I'm just trying to ask and articulate Are the fact like that you ain't got shame. Are you attacking me because you're old? Old? Like you your mean? generation wouldn't really understand my generation. We're very far apart. <laughs> okay. I read somewhere you're like 48. 48? Well, I look damn good for 48, if that's you the do. case. You do. I'll give you that. You do. Yeah. But that doesn't change the fact that after rave, when you was 18, you was probably getting fuck out behind bin. You don't know me, so I'm going to excuse myself. I don't myself. need to know you. I'm going to excuse myself Remember, for a sec. Remember, you need me here. Okay. That's fine. Darling. Slay gooders. Give it to them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Cougar. Everyone wants to attack me, like... See, she's walked out her own interview. This is the Tamello show now. Thanos of the UK ran the host off her own platform. Babe, fuck with me if you want. Does someone want to go get her? Honestly. But anyways. I love your dress. I love it. And your hair's nice. Thank you so much. It's probably for the older generation. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Giving senior. Okay. We're gonna have to keep it cute because I don't want to come out of character. I'm being professional. I don't want to get ignorant. I don't want to come to your level. Okay. So let's, let's be, you know, like let's act like we have. But I don't, as you just said. That's why I said let's act. I don't act. We'll try. I think I'm just seeing where it goes at the moment. Mm -hmm. I'm taking all the opportunities which come to me. Mm -hmm. Obviously, thankful to be here, even though you're a bit bright, but... <laughs> yeah. You're beautiful, but, like, I can tell you was, like, a bitch in school. Like, you, I would have probably had a couple fights with you, but... I'm, I'm gonna just, yeah, just just move on, because I don't want to say anything that I don't want to say. Let's be guided. You even quoted me. Fair enough, so you're, you're a nice person. I am a nice, I actually am a nice person. Oh. I'm just- I mean, this conversation would beg to differ, but- But it's because you're not a nice person. I'm an amazing person. Not to me. What did I say to you that wasn't nice? You're just quite judgmental. I didn't say anything judgmental. I you asked you You have underlying question. hatred. What am I hating on? The fact that I still have youth. Tamela, it was lovely. You're wearing Clarks. These are not Clarks, darling. Check what your back. What are they? What are they? What are you wearing? Can we go through? Let's do a fit check with you. Okay, pretty little thing. Mm -hmm. Pretty little thing. Mm -hmm. I think it's a sheen. Mm. That says it all. Um, that says it all what? Do you want to buy me a new outfit? No, I don't, darling. What are 18 year olds supposed to wear? You don't know about sheen. And your, your buckles undone on your shoes. Tamelo, it was lovely. Well, it was interesting having you here on Off The Record. I wish you all the best in your career. Hopefully it works out the same way it did for Cardi B. If not, take care. Guys, it has been me, Mide Oni, the one and only, and this has been Off Don't The Record. Don't sign off as if it's your show because you needed me here. It's been Tamelo from Bristol. Tamelo from Bristol, let me look at all cameras. Thank you, Off The Record. You can cut, by the way. She has nothing further to say. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for on joining us. The... You're not about to edit this out. It's been the Tamello show. Had I not been here, you'd have had fuck all to speak about. So thank you. You can cut here because I'm just going to keep interrupting you. You might as well do this in your own time. Oh, Jesus is good. And I thank God for growth. I don't know what to say here because do I give it back? I don't know what's going on here, guys. Keep your career, sis. You, yeah. you, at least you have one. Yeah. At least I have one. Thank you. That is very true. At 31, I'd expect that. Yeah. Hopefully, and by the time you're 31, you would have grown out of part-time prostitution as well. No. Your no. mom's still one. She's definitely not. She's definitely not. Let's not do that, darling. Okay? Um, guys, thank you for watching Off The Record. It's been Midday Oni, the one and only, your host. And I shall see you on the next episode. See you on the next episode.
Bye.